Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, where we're going to start with something that I found quite amusing that I found on Twitter today, um, which um, which has a sort of uh, crosswordy type uh, relationship, I suppose. This was the team sheet for um, apparently a, a game between Sydney United and uh, Streatham Rovers recently. Uh, and the Streatham Rovers uh, are extremely angry about the team sheet um, because they're complaining about Sydenham um, reordering their player numbers in order to do something extremely offensive to them. So take a stare at it, see if you can spot what they did. Um, uh, and if you may want to have a look along the initial letters spelt out by the Sydenham United team there. And uh, uh, Streatham Rovers uh, apparently have complained vociferously because the number three, uh, Dane Francis, is a, is a winger or a centre forward, so certainly shouldn't be having uh, the number associated with the left back. So um, I, I think I think this is almost certainly a hoax, um, but it's a very amusing one. Uh, the reason I think it's a hoax actually is is because of the names of the substitutes playing for Streatham Rovers, which just cannot be real. Anyway, that amused me. Sorry, it's my puerile sense of humour. Thought you might find it funny. Um, and what I wanted to do though was to solve the Times crossword. So let's have a look at it. Let's go find today's Times crossword and I'm going to talk you through it. So here we are. Fur or feather stole acquired in that city. Um, fur or feather stole acquired in that city. I don't know what that is. One appraises. A couple of vessels taking gold round east. Well, gold is almost always AU or OR in crosswords. AU for the chemical element or for the tincture. OR being the yellow tincture in heraldry, I think. One appraises um, a couple of vessels. Ah, should be able to solve that being silly. Breeder providing accommodation for drones. Well, drones are not just uh, sort of things that fly around the sky that are man-made, but they're also bees. So I quite like beekeeper there, which is uh, it's a sort of a cryptic definition. So fur or feather stole. I wonder if feather stole could be a boa acquired in that city. Bogota? Ah, yeah, I think it is Bogota. It's not very straightforward that. So I think what this is saying is that a word for a fur or a feather, stole, and stole obviously can be a word for a, a scarf or a shawl or a boa uh, in this instance. Um, acquired in that is saying if Put a synonym for the word acquired in the word for the stole, i.e. put got in boa, we get Bogota, which is the name of the city. So that's tricky. I need, certainly needed the B there. Um, courtyard right in centre of Goliath's city. Um, uh, Goliath city is... Oh, I keep thinking of goth, but I don't think that's right. Um, oh dear. The listener's part in a murder resolved. Well, this is a relatively easy times crossword clue. Um, the word resolved here is suggesting we might need to adapt something or um, temper it somehow. And if we look at a murder, add up the number of letters, we get seven letters. So it's an anagram of a murder and it means the listener's part um, and it's not referring to a part in a play or a radio play it's, it's referring to a part of your listener as in your ear, so it's eardrum courtyard garth or something like that 12 across, article framed by extremely emotional woman <laughs> um, well, if we put an article of speech um, which is very often in crosswords, it's either A, and or the. Put that in the extreme letters of the word emotional. That's the first letter and the last letter, are E and L. 
we get Ethel, which is the name of a woman. So, a courtyard here. Um, this, I think... Uh, it's not a word I know, which is annoying and slightly surprising to me. I want, I much prefer Garth to Gorth, but Goth rings more of a bell with being Goliath City. Um, no, actually, I, I think it is Gath. I'm going to go with Garth as the name of a courtyard. Certain type of singer, maybe a thrush, engage. Oh no. Engaging husband as page turner. Well, a triller, I suppose. A bird might trill, T R I L L. So a triller might be someone who sings. Um, put H for husband in the middle. H is a valid abbreviation for husband, believe it or not. I don't quite know why, but it's certainly supported by Chambers Dictionary. And we get thriller, which of course is a page turner. Put on play. Ultimately, about key financiers charlatanism good lord um, I don't know that uh, let's try this one with the beginning of P ominous having shelter with spongy walls <laughs> ominous um, shelter here I'm thinking of the word Lee if you're on the Lee side yeah, you're on the sheltered side, so I quite like Lee for shelter. Ominous, though. I'm not sure. Guy appearing in Weber Opera. Well, the only tricky part of this clue is know, knowing that the word guy can refer to a rope, um, as in a guy rope. And if you look inside the words Weber Opera, uh, or Weber Opera, Weber Opera, you get rope. And it's spelt out R O P E. There's always one of these clues in every Times crossword, so if you do get very stuck, you can just go hunting for it. Um, reportedly criticised, exam absorbing one like a hobby. Hmm. A hobby is a hawk, isn't it? Isn't a hobby a name for a hawk? Reportedly criticised, panned, exam. Raptorial, there we go. So, if you criticize someone, you rap them, R A P. Past tense would be R A P E D, rapt. That sounds like R A P T if you say it. So, this word reportedly is saying we need a homophone for the word rapt uh, with an E D finish. So, we get rapt. Then, an exam is an oral, absorbing one, that absorbs this I here for one. Um, and that gives raptorial, so like a bird of prey. Um, not easy again, but with a bit of experience, these things come quite quickly. It sounds like a fruit tree, exactly. It sounds like a, f yeah, okay, so it sounds like a fruit. It sounds like a fruit. Uh, I'm not sure. Parts of theatres represented in Paris once. Well, let me read this clue again for you in the way that I suspect you're meant to read it if you're going to solve it. Parts of theatres represented in Paris once. So Paris once is nine letters and if we represent those letters, i.e. anagram them, can we get parts of theatres? And I'm sure we can, but I haven't done the anagram yet. <laughs> um, so it probably ends in S, doesn't it? So, parry once. Ah! I'm going to leave the S in just to, because I'm sure it's right. Naval officer's place secured by rent payer. The rent payer is going to be a lessee. So, naval officer's. Hmm. Hmm. We looked. We look at four o'clock across. We did. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Thirteen across. Worldwide rules. Ivan abused. Okay. Well, I, I, if you if you try a cryptic crosswords for three months, you will immediately read this clue and read it as it must be an anagram. Because, and the reason you'll get familiar with this is 
why on earth has the constructor, the setter, used this phraseology, rules Ivan? It just looks weird when you look at it. And therefore, um, you know, it becomes very natural to say that doesn't look right. It must be, the, the compiler must have used these particular letters for, for a reason. And the most common reason, it's an anagram. So this is going to mean worldwide. Um, which doesn't actually help me if I can't solve the clue. Um, universal, goodness me. Just trying to put something different in there. Um, let's just say U there. Put on, play. put on might be mount, I guess. Oh, yes. Or, oh, I was thinking of the word, is there a word mounted backery or something like that? That would have backer in it, which is a financier. There is there is some word. I'm I'm going to get the spelling wrong, so I'm going to just put it in and then try and justify it. I'm not sure about this I. So put on would be mount. Play finally about key. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I think it might be an E there, as in a musical key would be A, A B C D E F or G. And I think the word is mounted backery. So we've got play ultimately is the Y. It's the last letter of the word um, play. And that's all going around E backer. And I think this word is, means uh, uh, is charlatanism. So we'll check that at the end if it does prove to be correct. Newspaper mostly covering African party, party's ritual. African party? Probably the ANC, do you think? African National Congress newspaper mostly covering ritual. African parties. Hmm, not sure, but we've got this. Oh, this was our um, our theatre parts, parts of theatres. Um, did we look at the yeah, we looked at that one 25 cross employ Aussie truck that'll be ute ute um, employ Aussie truck to tour the Italian islands utilize okay so obviously extremely helped there by thinking of ute as a synonym for an Aussie truck and that's tour touring Ita the Italian is saying the the word for the word the in Italian, which is il, I-L. Islands can be abbreviated to I-S. Um, so utilize is how we make that up. Always have to be a bit careful there in case the wordplay suggested a Z. I'm, I'm not sure whether the Times has a policy of always using um, uh, an S in the unchecked position for words like this, where there is an American spelling of the word, but uh, yeah, I'd always watch out for it. Edicts primarily embracing the old will get you the gold. Edicts primarily embracing the old will get you the gold. This is going to be something I, I think. I was thinking tiger eye immediately. I think this is going to be the name for gold. Um, edicts primarily embracing the old will be ye as I in the old word for the word the get you the gold oh bullseye maybe it's maybe it's just actually it, get you the gold is saying that me the set me the solver and the gold is the bullseye on in archery, so that gives. How does this work then? Edicts primarily embracing the uh, edicts bulls, and then primarily embracing is this e here, and then the old is ye. Perhaps that would give plum as a potential answer for this. If something is plum, peel, P L U M B, it is exactly something you find the plum line. And um, 
So it sounds like a fruit tree. Well, this is a homophone for plum, P-L-U-M, which is certainly a fruit tree. So I think bullseye is looking looking correct. I didn't know that word, that meaning of the word edict, though, so that's another thing we'll have to check. Um, so parts of theatres, so well, it's not prosceniums. Um, what is it? Uh, theatres. What? Ah, I can't see it. Bags of writings showing no end of talent. Writings. Okay, so this scripts. Scripts with a T would be writings. If Though if scripts has no end of the word talent, well, the end of the word talent is a T, so I'll remove that. And bags for scripts, that sounds right. But on the other hand, that gives me... Ah, that doesn't look good, does it? That would mean that I was wrong in this being an anagram, which I just, I simply don't believe that's not an anagram. So maybe scripts is wrong. Ah. Part of theatres. Pro. Not sure. Come back to it. Hopefully my brain will tick over in the meantime. What Smith may be doing, we hear, being sure to win. Odds on? What Smith may be doing? Shoeing. Ah, sh a Smith. As in uh, somebody who. Uh, uh, a blacksmith, I suppose, might be shoeing something. Again, S H O E I N G. If we say that, we get shoeing, which is something that's sure to, to win. That's not easy. Senior officer drinking in atmosphere in African capital. Well, African capital would be Cairo. So you can see we've got commanding officer, CO here, for senior officer, or even senior officer might be corporal or something. We, I mean, CO can mean anything, senior in the army, I think. Uh, drinking in atmosphere, the air is the atmosphere, so that gives us the answer we're looking for. Fast mover, reversing army vehicle. Hmm. Fast mover. Um, I'm, well, fast mover is could be a racer. Reversing army vehicle. Yes, it is that, isn't it? So army can be the Royal Engineers, RE, and a vehicle is a car. We reverse all of that. We get racer, which is a fast mover. Excessive deliveries initially made at a London hospital. Well, oh dear, I might have children issues in a sec. Uh, excessive is over much. How is this working? Well, we've got deliveries. In cricket, six deliveries are an over. So this is very common, deliveries for being used as a synonym for over. So we've got over, initially made, the first letter, the initial letter of the word made. At a London hospital, well, University Hospital Chelsea, perhaps? UCH, I'm sure, is a London hospital. So that gives us the answer. French city mayor, originally, adopting current travel industry. Well, tourism must be a travel industry, so it's simply then a question of working out why. And you can see, once we've written it in, it becomes easier to see. So French city is the city of Tours. T-O-U-S, that's uh, adopting, uh, well, mayor originally is the original, the first letter of the word mayor, that's this M here, and this is all adopting current, and current is I because of Ohm's law, V equals IR, so uh, volts equals amps, which obviously a measure of current times resistance. Uh, 16 across, deficiency of the Spanish Sierra, so again, here I'm thinking the Spanish is probably a bit like the Italian over here. The, the, the Spanish word for the is L. 
So deficiency of the Spanish Sierra deficiency. Hmm, not sure. Uh, person driving oxen over Ireland. Well, I don't know this yet, but person driving oxen. Oxen is one of those things. In, pl in plural, you know, an oxen can be a yoke. A yoke is two oxen or oxes. Um, Ireland is likely to be the Isle of Man. So a person driving over could be RE, as in if something is re something, it's on it. Or it could just be a person driving oxen and then a synonym for the word over here. I'm not doing very well. I've got lots of bits of this done, but no, no actual completion. So let's have a look down here again. Uh, this, if this S is wrong, which it does now look like it is wrong, doesn't it? That does not look like a place for an S. Right, we're going to have to get more of these letters. Symbol English doctor associated with the Parisian metro at first. Wow. So we've got this again. We've got we've had the Italian. I suspect we've got the Spanish, and here we've got the Parisian. So here it's the French word uh, for the we're looking for. So that's probably there. Metro at first, first letter of the word metro. English, abbreviation of English is E. Doctor, doctor has about 16 abbreviations that are valid in crosswords. Here it's going to be MB. The others that you see most commonly are MO, DR, GP. Um, so yeah, the word word doctor, who you sometimes see as in the doctor. Um, two bachelors in farm machine, one muttering incoherently. Well, a baler is a farm machine. I put two bachelors. B can be an abbreviation for bachelor. In the middle of that, I get babbler. And that's certainly somebody who mutters incoherently. Old sailor, I'm immediately thinking salt because of what we've got here, a four-letter word with an L in this position. Readily assuming power, silver, possibly. Well, silver was a pirate, but I suspect that the, the, the setter here is trying to make me think of Long John Silver because of all this stuff about sailors and, you know, readily assuming power. So silver here might be meaning something completely different. Readily assuming power. Salt spoon? Yes. Salt spoon. Look at that. That's not an easy answer. So our old sailor is the salt. Readily, if, if, if you would readily do something, you would soon do it. And that's assuming P for power. And salt spoon is part of your silver collection. So, you know, if you're fine dining, you get out the salt spoon. Tricky. Country river one in central Russia. Uh, hmm. Country could be rural, couldn't it? River could just be R, and then a river in central Russia is the Ural River. I think that is the name of a river as well as many other geographical features. So I think rural is what's being requested there. So gold one appraises. Uh, so it's going to be assessor, is it? Um, yes, it is. So A, it's just this A couple of vessels, well the SS, uh, SS is you often see on ships basically, I can't remember what it stands for, is it steamship? Um, so we've got two, two vessels, two SS's um, around east, that's E here, and then OR is our gold, I, I knew it would be OR or AU, here it's OR. 
So we've got one appraises assessor, and that's how it's built up. So a pretty difficult wordplay there. You've got uh, one, two, four pieces of wordplay in the clue. So what's this going to be? Sub lieutenant or something? Let's put that in. Sub lieutenant, if you like that more. Um, place secured by rent. Payer. Well, a subtenant, I suppose, is a rent payer, and a place is a loo, L-I-E-U. That's a loo is a word for place. So subtenant is the answer there. And ominous potentus, I think. I think shelter. Our well, shelter is not Lee. It's tent here. Um, with porous around the outside for spongy. So it's, it's walls here is saying that a word for spongy, i.e. porous, needs to wall in a word for shelter, tent. So potentious is the answer. Um, oh, is this is this prosenia then? Oh no, it can't be. Montebankery, not bakery. Oh god, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. Um, sorry. Okay, so proscenium, I know, as a part of a theatre. I didn't know that the plural was proscenia, but I would have done, I suppose, if I thought about it. So it wasn't backer for financier, it was banker. And because I'm not that familiar with mounted bankery, I thought it might be mounted backery. So eventually I've worked it out for us. That means scripts can be right again. Oh dear. What's this then? Observance or something like that? Yes, yeah, so the ritual is an observance. Uh, and the observer is a newspaper. So newspaper mostly. Yes, covering ANC. So it's observer without its last letter. Covering ANC to give observance. Oh, this is our deficiency of the Spanish Sierra. Uh, and this is our person driving oxman, which could be a steersman, couldn't it? Yes, steer. Some person driving will be a steersman, oxen steers, over island man, Isle of Man. So we're just looking for deficiency of the Spanish Sierra. Well, I, re I imagine this is going to be loss, uh, which is a deficiency. LOS, I think, can be a word for th um, the in Spanish. And uh, we might expect L more often in crosswords, but I think loss is also possibility and then Sierra must be S um, which might be what's the international radio code word for the letter S it might well be Sierra Sierra Bravo you get that sort of expression so I think that's how this works so after that complete shank with Monty Bankery I'm hoping this is the right answer strange mixture today of the yeah we, we're, we're correct strange mixture of the fairly straightforward and the fairly obscure. Let's just have a quick look at the dictionary because uh, I know we're up to nearly half an hour in the video, but people like to see why some of these answers are correct. Okay, so let's take a look at um, some of this now. So firstly, let's check. There we go, Mounty Bank. Now, where does this come from? Uh, it's from Italian word for mount and bench. Wow. Okay, but you can see it there, it's fully supported, um, just not very easy. Now, the other one I wanted to look at was bull for edict, because that is not something I've seen very often before. Um, blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, bull two, bull, ah, bull three, there you go, an edict of the Pope. So that's why... Um, bulls was being defined as edicts there. I mean, not not terribly straightforward. Let's just justify hobby for you. I think I said that I thought this was some bird. Ah, uh, I thought it was a hawk. It's a falcon. Um, but that's where this is coming from. So obviously it helps very much if you're familiar with this meaning of the word hobby, which I was not completely precise about, but knew enough to to get me by. Oh yes, I remember. I wanted to check for Garth, didn't I? I wasn't totally sure about where Goliath came from. Yeah, there we go. It's now a dialectic word for a, for, for a yard. 
although I suppose there's a courtyard it's not actually a dialectic word so that's probably why it's not signalled as such um, that's a pretty difficult word to be honest um, yeah I wonder if I don't think Gath will be in there but um, no, um, no not in that sense anyway um, now what else should we look at uh, steamship let's just have a look at that ah, steamship there you go so that's why I think SS is what it is it's defined as vessel wasn't it um, oh yes and proscenia which caused me so much trouble with that crossing with Mount Ebankery there we go proscenium so I knew that proscenium was some part of the stage but never occurred to me that uh, proscenia would be the answer there so yeah, not an easy, not an easy crossword with hindsight. Well, um, perhaps some people will have found it easier than I did to explain. But uh, I hope that was a useful run through. Um, I know we don't do as many crossword videos as some of you would like, um, but uh, you know we tend to get lower views for these videos. But we still absolutely intend to keep keep them up. Um, there'll probably be at least one a week from either Mark or me. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you're not a subscriber already, please think about subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. We'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.